So what is good YouTube, it's your boy Legendary E and we are back here for another rebuild and today we're going to be taking on the Washington Wizards. Now I am recording this on the 29th so obviously Kemba Walker, that man just gave them a, f this man had 47? Yo, right now the Washington Wizards are the walking L of the NBA community and as we all know John Wall, he has, I, I think he's getting surgery, season ending surgery on his left heel. If this could not get worse, they were already off to a horrible start. And now John Wall, he, he, he acting like he don't even want to play. And he's looking to get surgery. So guys, if you guys enjoy these rebuilds, I really want you guys to go ahead and like up this video. And of course, subscribe. Yo, smash the like button. Let's get 130 likes for another one of these. Yesterday, I did do a double upload where I was talking about some of the top landing spots for LaMelo Ball after high school. As well as my Nets Realistic My GM series now. Honestly, I'm trying to have fun with this reboot. I'm not trying to go all that crazy. So some things that, that I do might be a little questionable. But for the most part, I'm not trying to build like a super team right off the back and sign Kevin Durant and do anything crazy. Maybe this offseason I go after DeMarcus Cousins because him and John Wall have a history. And he's looking at a good team or a relatively good team that has cap room. And I and I, honestly, I can see Boogie going anywhere who gives him the most money. But other than that, I'm trying to keep this thing as realistic as possible. But obviously on this team, we got Wall, Beal, Porter, and Dwight. Let me go ahead and fix Dwight as well. Because uh, Dwight is still injured. So, yeah, I know I'm messing with this, but it's all in the name of realism. To an extent. Where do, where do I go to? Uh, he's not, it's not really bruised, though. Like, he's not really bruised because he has to get surgery. All right, what's the best thing to, like, give Dwight? Let's just roll with that. Yo, let's just roll with this. Let's give it for like 30 games. Even though I heard he might be missing like most of the season. Let's do it for like 46 games. Let, let's, let's just do it like that. But anyways, guys, I really do hope you guys have been enjoying the videos on this channel. We've been killing it, man. But look, honestly, I do. I am going to be trying to push the Wizards in a direction where I think that they need to do. And if I was and if it was possible, I would trade John Wall immediately but since that is completely unrealistic and i think that there is a zero chance of that happening because john wall is a face of this franchise and they know that they're not winning a championship regardless they might as well sell some tickets and that's with john wall so i think that the wizards have a zero chance of trading john wall however bradley beal is playing amazing i think bradley beal has is lucky playing a lot better than john wall has been playing this season actually for the past like two or three seasons if we want to keep this thing a whole buck however if anybody was to get traded on this team, it would easily be Beal or Otto, po or Otto Porter. If we could trade Otto Porter, that would be freaking amazing. Like, that would be awesome, bruh. Like, that would be the best thing for us, if anything. And I know I should probably wait until the offseason to, to make a trade, but, you know, Otto Porter, if we could get Blake Griffin, I'd be happy. The Pistons would literally never do that. It makes no sense for them. Kevin Love, I don't want to do that either. <laughs> Even though he's on the, actually his new deal kicks in, so that's a double L. And there's just no real options here now. Bradley Beal, I did see some earlier that might actually work out for Bradley Beal. Chris Middleton is not one of them. Zach Levine is not one of them. Kevin Love is a negative. Why on earth would they trade Jalen Brown for Beal? Maybe Gordon Hayward with the way that he's been playing, but not Jalen Brown. I mean, Beal is 25 still, and Markeith Morris, we ain't doing that one, Chief. Torian Prince, Malik Monk, why would I do that? De'Aaron Fox, I wish, I wish. The Knicks, nah. But this was a trade that I, I actually saw for Brandon Ingram and KCP. That was actually a trade talked about a lot at the beginning of this season. And I can actually justify that. We're not getting D-Low because the Nets are actually doing like decent. Like They have a higher chance of making the playoffs than we do at the moment. Uh, Victor Oladipo, nah. Nah, nah, nah. None of this really is adding up. <laughs> like none of these like some of these like Draymond. I don't I don't even want him. But as far as the Brandon Ingram one, obviously we were talking about that at the beginning of the season. And honestly, BI's trade value, if anything, is only going down. LeBron does need another star player there, and I think that Beal could pr could provide that role. Us getting KCP, they would also have money to still go after another player this offseason in Boogie. And honestly. I think this works out for them in the long run. They need another... Yes, Josh Hart is great, but if they really want to make a push, they need as much players as possible. They need something to entice AD to actually come there in free agency. And 
Right now, him and B.I. have the same trade value. Only one problem is that B.I. is averaging 15 points. This dude is averaging nearly 24. He's averaging more rebounds and more assists as well. So that is something to actually look at. We give them Jeff Green. We get KCP, who they are definitely trying to trade. And I can even throw in Trevor Reza. You guys want Trevor Reza and back. I'll, I'll take back. Who's been who's not been playing good? I'll, I'll take back him. All right. Um... All right, how, how, how can we do this? So KCP, we we were good getting... All right, so I, I'm trying to help them out because I know that they really want to get uh, Trevor Reza on the squad. He got a huge contract. I don't think that they would give us Rondo. Dang, none of these guys is getting paid like that. They wouldn't give us Lonzo. A 2020 unprotected pick. But I think that this trade is not that crazy. You guys are getting an all-star on Beal. Uh, you, a, a, a utility player who actually played great in the playoffs uh, for Cleveland last season. Uh, you guys are getting a second round pick and a first round pick. We get KCP, who's a bum. And we, we get KCP, who's not that good. And B.I., he's a project who just does not fit in with LeBron. And no matter what, he's going to be on the move. So we go ahead and we make that trade. So for right now, Brandon Ingram is our best player, which does mean we don't need Otto Porter. I can see what I can get for him, but... The best can, but the best, but the best case scenario is that we trade him during the off season. But I do like our chances getting Boogie. He's the only person I think that we actually got, got a shot at getting. Everybody else, Kevin Durant, he's not making that return back home. But this is Lana that we are going to be running with. Tomas Sadaransky, Bi at shooting guard, Otto Porter, Markeith Morris, Thomas Bryant, Trevor. Okay, I'm not really feeling this team, but let's just go ahead and let's see what we can possibly do with it. What do they say? Selling right now. We have the eighth pick. Can we can we be worse and try to get Zion or somebody? Oh, hell, man. Ja Morant. If we if we if we can pull out anything that makes sense, I will trade wall. But for right now, why would they trade John Wall and, and just be a bad team without a superstar? But other than that, I'll see you guys at the end of the season and let's see how many L's we can take to try to get a top draft pick. And at the end of the season, Kevin Durant, he ends up winning the MVP. Uh, Luka, Schroeder, you guys already know how this thing goes. But Blake is most improved. I've never really seen that happen before. We go ahead and we go 33 and 49. I actually think that's a decent record for us. Um, obviously, we have, like, nobody on any of the All-NBA teams because, you know, we don't even got John Wall. All right, so, yeah, yeah. We, we weren't that good. Obviously, we messed around. We didn't make the playoffs. But, honestly, I'm... I'm really good with that. All right, which pick are we are we projected to even at? We're projected to have the the sixth pick and getting Keldon Johnson. We could use a shooting guard on this team, but I would like to get like Cam Reddish or RJ or somebody like that. The Knicks are projected to to be getting Zion. As far as our team stats go, we 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 were led in points by D12 whenever he came back from that butt injury. He averaged 17 points. Ingram was 16 and a half. Uh, 1.6 assists, 3.4 rebounds. I just expect a lot more from these guys. We can go ahead and we look at the Lakers, see what Beal did. I mean, he's injured right now. He's day-to-day -day with a broken ankle, but he did average like 22 points for them, so that's good. He's going to help them a lot in the playoffs. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's sim through this entire uh, playoffs because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Let's just see who wins that championship. And where do you know? The Warriors easily win the NBA championship. Now, let's get straight into the offseason because this is where I can actually start to make some moves. All right, so let's get into the league meetings real quick. <coughs> yeah, leave the NBA alone. I don't want a sudden death rule. What the, come on now. Let's get into the draft lottery. So, obviously, we are projected to be having the sixth overall pick, and we walk away with the sixth pick. All right, so that that, that honestly kind of sucks, but it's, it's cool, man. We're going to hang on to Scott Brooks for right now let's improve at trainer though let's try to get a better trainer all right let's try to pick him up we get him as well and let's get into the nba draft man maybe there's somebody that we can get with i mean john wall's gonna be back whenever the season starts so that that's gonna be great for us but right now we're projected to be taking Keldon 2k they got to take kevin porter honestly a shooting guard anybody can actually help us there so first off i can actually see what this pick is worth though What's this pick worth? We ain't, that, that whole false thing, not for the sixth pick. Why would I trade down just to get each one more? That actually makes no sense. Drummond, they would not be trading Drummond for that pick. Let me throw in Porter. Unless I want Michael Porter. Nah. <laughs> like, why would I do that? All right. Mahina, I should have, I should have, 
Dang, I, sh I should have included him in some kind of deal. No one is going to take this contract unless we give up, like, something else. All right, can I just get rid of him? What's he worth alone? Why would the Lakers do that? Like, or wh why would the Warriors? He, 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 his, his per 36 is good, but come on now. You know what? Let's hop into the NBA draft. Let's see who's there. Let's see who's on the clock at pick number six. I mean, getting Kevin Porter would be nice. And he's there. We can get him. We can also get Bull Bull, Sekou Dumboya. We have we are we have so many small forwards. So we don't need that. Bull Bull is somebody that we can get though. They're saying he's an 82. I know he's not. <laughs> like, I, I've used these rosters so much. I know he's not. Bringing home Kevin Porter Jr. Isn't he from Washington? He's from like Seattle or something. That's probably who I'm gonna go to because if I do plan on getting Boogie, Bull Bull won't be useful, but. He is kind of a demi, bro. Dang. All right, this is actually like a hard pick. All right. I never get bull bull, but let's just bring home Kevin Porter Jr. We need a shooting guard. Let's just go and let's just get one. I'm cool with that. Watch bull bull. Watch them have really like made him like a 90 or something or an 82. All right, so bull bull. Yeah, he's a 78. Porter was a 77. No love lost. I think that I'm happy with our draft pick. We're going to go ahead and sign him, of course. Let me bring it back, B.I. Come on, let's see what we got, man. I'm trying to get Boog. All right, so obviously I'm going to go ahead and bring back Decker and all of these guys, make them restricted free agents. Okay, so now that we're in free agency, we're going to try to hook up and make that K K Kentucky connect. See, the Hawks, oh my goodness. But So, so now we got to worry about Mahini. He's the problem here. Is that all the money that we need to actually be, be able to get him? Is because of Mahini. This could work, but I think the Nets like trade is just a little bit better in my opinion. I really don't want Joe Harris, but hey man, we'll be trading Otto Porter and Mahini over to the Brooklyn Nets, man. They they were trying to get him a, a few off seasons ago, so now that that's taken care of, we can go after Demarcus Cousins, four year contract, player option. But just in case we can get Boogie, of course, I'm gonna go after. Vucevic, who's been playing amazing this season as well. And another good player. I would like to go after Derrick Rose, but he wants too much money. And he's not going to be starting here, so that's kind of going to be pointless. All right, so we do need a power forward. Tobias Harris has no offers. If we could get him, I'd be really happy. But the odds of that, the Clippers are probably going to resign him in real life. Uh, so we might not be able to get him. Julius Randle is kind of like the same thing. If we can land him, that would be great. I don't really see that happening. And I kind of don't want to waste that offer. We'd have to, yeah, we would have to renounce all of these guys, including Dwight Howard. All right, well, I'm honestly cool with that. At least we get to mark his cousins that, and that was our number one target in the first place. So I'm cool with that. Since that happened, we can actually go after Paul Millsap. But even then, maybe Nikola Miritic. I mean, Miritic can still space the floor and do all the stuff that I really want. Uh, another good player would be... Derek, I don't really want Derek Favors. Let's go after... um. Millsat. Like for, for real, for real. And you're an unrestricted free agent again. That's tough. We do get Bobon though. Alright, so we do need like all we need is a power forward. If we can get that, I think that we're gonna be good. Jabari Parker wants 16 17 mil. I don't know where he thinks he's gonna be getting that from. Um I don't really want Tolliver, but he's better than absolutely nothing, and at least he can shoot. We'll just take that. But other than that, I'm honestly good with everything else that we got. I like this team, man. John Wall just needs to come back full strength. And we can work on building towards a championship. Because even though I think that we're not, like, extremely close, we're not that far off either. But other than that, I'll see you guys in training camp. Because, yeah, we need to develop B.I. immediately. Him and Ke him and Kevin Porter. All right, and heading into training camp, we're going to go ahead and use untapped potential. Not free throw. Untapped potential on Brandon Ingram. We're also going to go ahead and use it on Kevin Porter Jr., and who else can we use this thing on? I would say Troy Brown, but he's not going to develop no, no, no matter what I actually do. All right, but perimeter shooting. John Wall, please, man. That You had a 69 open three. <laughs> that ain't it, bruh. All right, so just go ahead and you guys can resign whoever you guys want. John Wall is actually back now. He's at an 87, so I think his overall did go down a little bit, which makes sense. But or are we just going to arrest him? Or I guess we're arresting him until... He, He's fully recovered. But the lineup isn't the end up being John Wall. 
Kevin Porter, Brandon Ingram, Morris, and Boogie. And the bench is actually really, really good. Now, what I'm going to actually go ahead and do for this first season is, since we have so much small forward play, I am going to go ahead and put him in the G League. And I think that's the only one. I, I want to put him in there as well. Who can I sign? I like Pat Bev, but... All right, what's that position that we need the most? Power forward. All right, so what's up with that? You don't want to take less? All right. He wouldn't be jobless? All right, all right, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Um, <laughs> all right, so who can we get? Yeah, there's, like, no one here that I really want to, like, sign. Just to be real. All right, so we, we did lose Thomas Bryant. My guy. I'll just play with whoever's there. Honestly, what are they saying about this team? Says that we are rebuilding. Where we ranked standings. Power rankings got us at nine. How are we rebuilding? You're saying that we're the ninth best team. And at the end of this season, Giannis is the MVP. Zion's rookie of the year. All that good stuff, but we still trash, man. This team was definitely still trash. We get... All right, come on. Come on, 2K. All right. Uh, so we do get Boogie on all NBA second team. We get John Wall all defensive first team. And we get Kevin... Porter on all rookie second team at an 80 overall. So this year, we we actually messed around and we made the playoffs. So we are going to be in the lottery. We finished as the fourth seed. Stats-wise, these are the stats. Boogie with 24. John Wall, 16 points. We're paying this man how much this season? For 16 points. Okay. Kevin Porter, 13. B.I., 13. I mean, I expect... A whole lot more. I'm not going to lie. I expect a lot more. But anyways, guys, round one, we're taking on Philly. Let's see if we can hand them an L. That's the goal. Let's see what we got. Come on, y'all. With a 4C, right? Right? Okay. We're down 3-1. This is always fun. Come on. Comeback season, right? Bruh. All right. Well, that was fun. Let's come back for one more season. Let's see what we can actually do. But I'm almost to, to, to the point where I just think that you can't win a championship with John Wall. Hey, John, you a great player, but hey, bro, you're seeming like the weak link here. And this season, the, the Rockets do go ahead and win the championship. Good for them. Come on. Let's speed this thing up. League meetings. Leave everything alone. There we go. Draft Lotto. We don't have a pick. All right. So in this year's draft, we do go ahead and we walk away with the 18th pick. I mean, that's not bad. Scott Brooks. Say goodbye. All right. So for this year, we're going to go ahead and offer this guy right here. Mike Stauffer. If not, we can just go with Jacob Underwood. It does not really matter at all. But let's go and let's offer him. Mike D'Antoni would be, would be a great coach, but he's not coming here. All right. So we get a brand new head coach. Scouting, I don't really care about. NBA draft. Let's get it. We are projected to be getting who in this draft? Jalen Smith. I mean, whoever's there, we're going to just take the best player available. So that doesn't really matter, but let's just see who's there. All right, so with the 18th pick, the best player available for this is going to be Scotty Lewis. They're saying he's a 76 overall. And that's somebody that we can definitely use on this team. They're also talking about Aiden Igeon. I'm, I'm butchering that entire name. We do need a power forward. We do need a power forward badly, actually. Like, we need one badly. There we go. Team player options. We're bringing back Troy Brown. He's now at a 78 overall after chilling in the G League. He's going to be great off the bench for us this season. Qualifying offers. Of course, Brandon Ingram is restricted because we invested too much into that. Uh, but let's see who's actually there. We have Bird Rice on Joe Harris. I'm going to bring back Joe Harris. There we go. And B.I., if he gets an offer, we're going to go ahead and we're going to match that as well. But other than that, let's see who we can get. Uh, Terry Rozier? Can we really get him, though? I mean, he's he's unrestricted because they didn't like want to offer him, which I think is honestly a possibility in real life. What else? I, 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 I'm taking him over Joe Harris because we, are, we have a bunch of small forwards if we really need one. So I'm cool with that. After day one, we can get Terry. Can we get both of them? We can get both of them. I'm down with that. No one offered Brandon Ingram. That would ruin everything. All right. It still says that we can do it. All right. So we, we were able to get all of them and match BI. 
We got Terry Rozier on the squad. Okay, so now we got some we got some really good depth now. Backup point guard is Terry. Backup shooting guard is Avery Bradley. He did fall up, but he's still a great defender. Small four, we got Joe Harris still. We got everybody that we want. Like, but Joe Harris will be getting flipped. Don't sleep on that. All right, first round pick and Bam out of bio. Let's just go and let's let's just make that trade. And lastly, let's see what Trey Burke is worth. Let's just see. If it's something crazy, if it's something crazy, I will just take it to be honest. But for right now, oh, mm. Mm, that's that's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that's that's a really interesting. Like I don't want to make this completely unrealistic, but hey, man, you know what? I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave that that DSJ one alone. I, I already pulled off one unrealistic trade. Uh, whenever we got um, whenever we got Bam. I think I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to get too much ahead of myself. But, hey, man, so far, I really like uh, the way that our team is coming together. Uh, let's just I, – I still want to test out value for Trey Burke because we really don't need him. But at this point, I'm fairly happy with the team that we got. And this might be the move that we actually make just because he can actually shoot. We do need a power forward right there. There we go. Let's get into it, man. Let's get straight into training camps because you guys already know what I'm going to be doing. I need to send a couple of guys to some camps, but for right now, I'm very happy with the team that we got. Are there any veterans here that we could use? Not really. I think that we're good at every single spot unless Dwight wants to take a pay cut, which he does not. Anybody else? JR, you want to you want to hop on for another ring? All right, so heading into training camps, uh, perimeter shooting. All right, what does Kevin Porter need to work on? He's good at almost everything. We can work on his perimeter defense, though. So that he's not like a, just a liability out there. Next up, what can we do? What can we do? I could honestly run a lineup with Bam at center and Boogie at power force since Boogie can shoot. That could be another option for us to actually do if we really want to. Uh, I'll think about that. But for right now, B.I. Let's get B.I.'s perimeter defense up as well. I think that's one of his low points. He goes up to an 86 overall. And lastly, Brown sent him to perimeter shooting. I need somebody just to be able to shoot. Like a Harry Giles? I'm taking it. He's on the Clippers now. They win. They get some viable bench pieces. Nope. I would much rather have Terry get those minutes. All right, there we go. Let's try this out. And what do they have us ranked as? Team Intel says that we're actually a contending team this season. They got us ranked fifth. Look, I'm expecting big things from this team. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. I think that we're going to be great. And just in case they want to mess us up, right now we're running a 10-man rotation. Cool it on the bench's minutes, all right? That's all that I can really say. But I'm really psyched to see what this team can do because... If we can't win with this team or at least make the conference finals, I don't know what else I could possibly do. And at the end of this season, we finally have a season above 50 wins. James Harden gets his second MVP. Wiseman is Rookie of the Year. Everything is pretty much the exact same. Uh, let's see. Any Wizards on any of the All-NBA teams at all? All right, so we get Boogie on All-NBA third team. And we get John Wall on All-Defensive second team. And that is about it. I mean, this season, we actually finished off as the third seed with 50-some wins, which is, like, really, really good. That means that the East this year was actually relatively competitive. Uh, we finished Cleveland. Huh? Like, because they got Colin and Rue, Hamishamura, and K-Love. Oh, they, they, they got Steven Adams in, like, a really good bench. They I guess they made a trade with the Thunder and got a bag. Regardless, I'm just not that worried about playing them. I think they were going to be a really, really good team in the playoffs. Boogie averaged the most points for us. John Wall upped his points. One point. 17 points a game. Then we have Kevin Porter Jr. with 15. B.I. with, I guess, nearly 15, nearly three assists. And off the bench, we got Harry Giles doing his thing. All right. I actually like the way that our bench played together. All right. But other than that, we just get straight into the semi. Round one versus the Brooklyn Nets. They got D'Lo, LaVert. Let's get these guys up out of here. If we lose to them, I'll be very, very disappointed. Get that sweep on. Come on. Bruh. All right, we're up. Seriously, stop, 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 stop. Why are we going to game seven? We're really going to a game seven? 
Dude, if I did all this rebuilding and we can't make it past the first round, I would not know what to say. Close, I mean, we, we, we end up winning by 11 points. Boogie with 27, 9, and 4. John Wall, 20 points, 16 assists. Porter with 20. BI with 11. All right, that, that ain't it. All right, but we did go ahead and we advance against Philly. Philly, the lineup is full. It's Scotty Lewis. Here's Middleton, Ben Simmons at power forward. Then Joel Embiid. Then we got Tristan. And then they got Tristan Thompson, Dwight Powell. Can we actually beat this team? They were a lower seed than the Nets, though. Come on, y'all. Let's not have another game seven. We're up 2 1. We're up 3 1. Do not choke. Please do not choke, y'all. All right, we advance. We struggled against Brooklyn, but not them. Up against the Raptors. All right, so if we do this, we're going against the Lakers or the Rockets. The Raptors, Lowry, Tyreek Evans, Kawhi, Siakam. Siakam at 87. Now. I mean, he has been playing great in real life. But let's see if we can take these guys on. They say game one. Dog. Dog. We're about to get swept by the fifth seed. Oh, this can't happen. This can't happen. This would be a complete failure. Do I jump in? Who has possession of the ball? If I can force in overtime and they can like somehow choke a 3-0 lead, I'd be more than happy. But we cannot lose this. All right. So we actually got Boogie at the line. Yo, shout out to 2K for helping your boy out. All we got to do is make one. Curry up and pass in the ball, ref. Come on. My dude. What? I am garbage at this game. Yo, I, I missed a free throw, and I had a feeling I was going to do that. I was going to somehow just choke this whole thing away. Yo, I don't care about this, man. I could have won us a freaking game right there. Yo, come on. Do not let them inbound this. That please be off. I'm out. I'm out, y'all. I'm out. Hey, hey, hey. I know. That is an L. Hey, man, if, if, if that can happen to any team, it's the freaking, it is the Washington Wizards. Pascal, I missed the free throw with Boogie. Pascal Siakam hits a contested shot. That is what's up, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. At least, I hope that it was at least kind of entertaining. I try to keep this thing as realistic as I, as I could without going overboard. Because there, there was a couple of, like, blockbuster trades that I, I could have made as the Raptors won the championship. But there were some crazy trades that I could have made. But in the end, I tried to do things that weren't, like, old, like, that weren't just super-duper crazy. But our final roster was DeMarcus Cousins. We kept John Wall. We picked up Brandon Ingram. Bam Adebayo. Kevin Porter Jr. Harry Giles. Terry Rozier. Avery Bradley. Jordan Mickey was on the team. So was Daryl McCone and Aiden, whatever. Troy Brown Jr., Darren Collins, and Shabazz. And we still got dropped off by Pascal Siakam. That's crazy. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you go over to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace, y'all.